Schedule is really important. Trying to keep a schedule similar to what you would do if the child was in school um, is really important. And it's important for you if you're working at home. So having times where we're working and children are working on school work or working on projects while you're working on your work as a parent is important. Having play times, having craft times, having lunch time, all of that is important. Sleep schedule is something that is super important to try and keep the same. And this is advice that I give parents and children all the time. Keep your sleep time very similar, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So by that, I mean, if your bedtime is eight o'clock for your child, keep that bedtime between seven and nine. And if, they're and if the time you need to get them up in the morning is, is seven o'clock, keep that between six and eight. So an hour either way. Try and really keep on that schedule because our bodies get used to uh, a rhythm of sleep and that helps us to maintain that and to promote good sleep and good rest, which we all know that we need especially in times of stress. Let's talk a little bit about school because I've had parents worry about school. I've had parents think um, that they're not doing enough or are they doing the right things for school. A lot of parents have been saying that my son just is not interested. They don't want to do it. Do the best you can. That's all we can do is the best we can. And I would give yourself a little grace around school and your child. The other thing that I read about that I have been sharing with my patients that is, a, I think, just a really good tip is that, you know, don't make it about the worksheets. Make it about something that they're really interested in. So if they really are interested in, mm, let's say, how a tree grows, have them research that, have them do some, um, a, a project on that, have them go out and look at trees and examine it in more detail and um, put, a, put together a little um, presentation or a little project for you to talk about. So it's something that they really want to know about and get excited about, and then we'll learn about a lot of different things as they're researching that. This is all new, it's changing every day. We're all doing the best we can to follow the recommendations that are giving us, um, given us from the CDC and from um, your healthcare providers and from your, your work. And um, today is one, one way of doing things and tomorrow might look different. And so we have to just kind of give ourselves some grace and know that it's one day at a time and we're doing the best we can. Um, I also would encourage you um, to just get outside and play. And um, of course you wanna keep your social distancing and you wanna stay away from equipment that other children could be on and um, that sort of thing. But it's okay to go out and ride your bike. It's okay to go out and go for walks. It's okay to play out in the backyard. All of those things are good for our mental health and our physical health as well.